What's going on everybody? My name is Chandler Lyles and today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing simple salsa recipe. You don't have to go to a Mexican restaurant. You don't have to buy Tostinos or what's it called? You can just do this. Let's get into it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take six Roma tomatoes, cut the ends off of each one of them, slice them right down the middle. Then we just wanna do a nice little dice on them, whatever size you like your tomatoes to be. So the first three I did a really rough chop on. These last three I'm gonna do a really fine chop on just so we get a more salsa-like consistency. Maybe we don't have to break out the food processor for this one. All that being said, if you wanna make this recipe even quicker, I highly recommend the Ninja like three videos in a row I've recommended this ninja uh, food processor but I love the thing link to buy one in the description down below That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why I am an amateur at-home cook and not a professional one. Because real cooks, all they do all day long, prep, 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 prep. You gotta love the prep. All right, next thing we're gonna add is one bunch of cilantro. You dice this up as finely as you'd like to. Man, I love the smell of cilantro. Oh my gosh, so good. Next thing we're gonna do is take the juice. I'm gonna start with half a lime, and then I'm gonna save this other half for when we taste this at the very end and see if it needs another half. I have no grip strength in my right arm today. I freaking fell on the ice outside, busted my tail. And now like I cannot grip my right arm or I need to do what my wife says and go to the gym more often. I don't know. All right, next thing we're gonna do, take a red onion. Uh, you can use whatever onion you like. I just like red onions in mine. And we're gonna do a quarter of a red onion. Now, you are gonna wanna cut these really, 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 really small. Now, when you dice these, this little hairy end here, let's see if we can find that. Yep. This little hairy end right here, you wanna leave that intact and cut this other one off because all these little layers of the onion, they all map back to this hairy end. I want these onions like White Castle size. All right. Time for the hot boy. One jalapeno. Cut the back end off. Slice it right down the middle. Whoop. I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. So we're gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna slowly work it through here and don't do like I did on that first one and snap it in half. It's just gonna make chopping it a little bit more difficult. And then again with this one, you can cut this as fine as you wanna cut it. Um, you can leave as many seeds in there as you wanna leave. I just personally don't like food super hot so I could try to go really small, no seeds.
Last thing to do here, a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper. I'm gonna get a big spoon with a big back end so I can mix these guys together and mush it as I need to. All that's left to do is taste it. Convenient bag of chips here. What is your go-to salsa chip? Very fresh, bright tomatoes coming through. A little bit of heat from that uh, from that jalapeno. I am gonna end up adding this next lime in here because I want a little bit more acidity to brighten all these flavors up. Do another mix. This is really good. Last thing we're gonna do is add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. Would have liked to have used avocado oil here, but I don't have any. I think I'm just gonna keep messing with it because I just like eating chips and salsa. You guys, try this recipe. Tell me what you think about it. If you're ready for the next video, go ahead and click right here and watch that one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please freaking subscribe. Or don't. It's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.